hello and welcome back to another video so in today's video we are gonna go and pick up two new trailers from well they've been dropped off at the my bosses uh, I'll tell you a bit more about that when they arrive well when we go over we're in the Massey I'm just gonna show you quickly um, what's happened brought from a truck, uh, second hand, um, we've brought a slow tanker, an Abbey, 3000 gallon, uh, that's just come back from silage, uh, finished silaging, um, that is being traded in, uh, for bigger Massey um, keeping this because it's a nice tractor it does the job it can do the new wind like sort the new wind rower out um, and everything but um, trying to sort this yard out because basically in two days time boss is having a auction um, basically all of the contract well his contracting agriculture agriculture contracting business he is selling and basically I am gonna start my own well I've started my own agriculture contracting business already um, but I'll still be working f for him. Um, he's moved everything here. So we've got the chopper, the class, the trailers, uh, the silage trailers, the marshal, the muck spreader, the combine, the fent katana, which apparently he brought. Um, he had a crone down the bottom, he had that on loan, like lease to someone. Um, so that's come back, because that's getting sold. He's got the 6930 with the set of class mowers. He's got the JCB, he's got the Volvo with all the attachments. He's also got another JCB, which is on the pit moment that's going into the auction um, I want to buy the combine and the muck spreader and maybe the chrome chopper but we'll see how that goes so yeah they've dropped the trailers off here and I don't know why my car's still here so that's always a good always a good sign oh my other trailers here as well right. so we'll take the bell trailer first move that we need this in a couple of days got a big job for my boss to move all of these bales that has got in the field still. Um, his son says he'll help on the New Holland with the low loader if we need to, but I don't think we will. I need to sort the yard out over there. We have got to go and spread some slurry, but I'm going to swap the tractors and put the, this on the slurry tanker. I'm going to spread some slurry and not hit the fence.
yeah, we've gone for a latest ver like um, uh, a decent massy um, this time, but it's a bit of a shame that we're getting rid of that one because that one was always good for like little jobs. Um, but traded it. Well, it's going as soon as the other well the new Massey arrives um, we're going to be next episode we are going to be doing some stone carting with the new Scania Clearly boss So yeah, I want to try and um, set the business up. I've already set the business up um, with customers, basically. Um, but with the local uh, biogas plant. So yeah, we, we can go for Richard West trailers if we wanted to, but these trailers are half the price, I think. Not with all the add-ons that I've had on it. With certain trailers, it's just the bail trailers I can't like go like in. It's like with that bail trail there, I have to go around it. I don't know if we go do some slurry tanking just moving all the trailers about but yeah I'm not I'm only working at the boss's farm part time at the moment um, because he doesn't need me um, he's got workers so I'm just setting up the, my business now. I'll go down every day, help him feed the cows, um, see if anything needs sorting. I want to buy a muck spreader. I've been looking at buying one, a uh, Richard West muck spreader. But, um, if we can get that one, I've used that one before when I worked here, so I know it. Like I know what works, what doesn't. know it's been well maintained as well you know what we'll go do some stone cart with the new trailer yeah go do that we're not doing slow tanking, we're doing stone kind. We'll go this way. I think. Easier. 
I have been told that the entrance is muddy. So just beware. And I was like, yeah, that's fine. So yeah, this tractor was, well, when I brought this tractor, it was for mowing. It wasn't for anything else. Just for mowing. And I've just got used to it now. And I just, I took the mowers off. Put the windrow on. And now I'm using it as carting stone. Deal, uh, not dealership, the farmer by my boss he wants it a certain like near a certain way um, so I was like yeah that's not a problem I think he's also maybe just brought that land a maze for his farm um, for his cows cause even though he's selling the agriculture contracting business he's decided to buy more cows so he's also got the construction business as well so he's just doing a lot sorting that out at the moment he's away in Germany at the moment um, so Hopefully he can get back. Right. He did tell me that he may have shut the gate last night. It is a nice trailer. And, um, it's got air brakes, everything that I needed it to. Uh, and yep, it is muddy. Trailer is fun. New trailer and already got it caked in mud. Right, so I don't know where he wants this trailer, but
I don't do anything with diggers. I'll open that one because we are slurry today. So yeah, we just like I said, gonna tip this farm for them, drop this trailer off, well give it a wash, give the tractor a wash, um, and drop the trailer off, put the tanker on ready for next video because we will be spreading slurry with the new slow tanker so yeah it, it, that's why I don't drive diggers because you try and try and it just either doesn't work or thingy so that's why we have loaders um, that's why when I when I used to do that for them, one of the workers used to be down there but in the digger to just for me. Um, so it gives this tractor a different type of job. Uh, this hasn't got any weight block on it as well. It's got weights on the wheel. It has got a front weight block handling the trailer pretty well. To be fair. I always try and when I do like when I buy a new trailer and it's first job, I always try and do stone with it because if it can handle stone, it can handle pretty much anything that it put that uh, I put in it. So got maze to do soon. So yeah, that's why I want a forage harvester so I can chop the maize for them. Got one field there that needs tanking. That can be spread with manure. I get this manure spreader. We yeah, he wants uh, the tank emptying. It's got grass there that needs to either be spread with slurry or manure or fertiliser. I have brought the fertiliser spreader off it, but he doesn't know where it is. Way up. Whoa, what was that? Yeah. 
That was fun. So, we were chopping grass over the road the other day, and his son decided to stick the mowers on and go do some mowing. And yeah, he mowed this field, even though his dad had told him not to, um, because they were going to put the cows on there. So now he doesn't know what to do with it, doesn't know to turn it into hay, but then that's a lot of hay. Um, he could sell it, but it's a lot of hay. Uh, we've got a new baler arriving and a stacker that goes on the back of the baler pretty soon. I have ordered that. that is arriving. I don't know why he wants this stone. But, if a customer asks you to cart stone for him, don't ask any questions, you do it. Yeah, I'm going to end the video there. So thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And as always, until next time, bye for now.